hey everyone welcome back to my channel um, excuse me that I've been gone for quite a while um, I know that I've been missing from the channel I haven't uploaded anything almost uh, I've just been really busy lately last week we had our counter review and that was the first one for this year for the first grade and it went great so thank God for that um, but in this video um, I'm going to talk to you a little bit about how to teach divisions with a hands-on approach. Um, a mom from a Facebook group had watched my multiplication hands-on uh, video and she requested if I could do one for division. Uh, now my daughter is only six years old. We're not actually officially doing multiplication and divisions, but she's really, really interested to know about it. So I've been trying to, you know, come up with some uh, games for her to play with me. And uh, she also plays a lot of math, math games with her dad. So she really likes uh, numbers. <laughs> uh, so these activities only work for even equations or for like 20 divided by 4 or 10 divided by 5 and stuff like that. Uh, really basic. The first thing that I did with her was using this paint palette. Um, and I simply wrote down the numbers from one to 10 with a dry erase marker. And then I used some pony beads. So simply, you know, 10 divided by five. And then she has to write down the answer for that. So she has to grab 10 pony beads. So that's 10 pony beads. And then she has to divide it into five by, uh, by five. So she has to go all the way to number five, you know, equal amount for each group. So into five groups. And you can do this also with multiplication. You just invert it, invert on uh, the equation. So how many do you have in each group? Two. So that's the answer. 10 divided by five is two. If you were doing multiplication, you know, you would do two times five and then you can have two and make it make, you know, this quantity five times and then you will place it five times like in five groups. That's if you were doing multiplication. That's why I say like division and multiplication is pretty much the same with when it's an even equation. So we play this like that. You can definitely use an ice tr um, an ice cube uh, tray. If you don't have this, you can do use anything that's similar to this. You can use some cups, you know, write down the numbers there. So, or, you know, don't write the number at all. Um, it's up to you. So that's one way you can do this. If you want to do something more fun, I have this Play-Doh mat that I laminated, you know, for Play-Doh activities. And I used this dry erase marker and I drew those, you know, flower stamps with the, um, the center of the flower. And I made these little petals of Play-Doh. And then you can divide 12 petals into three different flowers. So how many petals would you, eat, you know, would each one have? So the kid or, you know, will start placing the petals. They all have to get, have the same amount. And, you know, you can do an activity like this. If you have, you know, a child that likes pizza, you can use a pizza and share different, you know, like pizza slices and plates. So, yeah, you can do anything you want. It's always the same concept. So each flower gets four petals. So 12 divided by three is, is four. Um, you can do that. I have another Play-Doh mat that's like this. You can make your own garden. So you can draw little, you know, uh, lines and have them grow their vegetables. So you have 12 vegetables and four different uh, places to grow them. So how many vegetables would each line have? So you start dividing them into equal amounts for each group. So, you know, you get the idea. So the answer will be three this time. Um, and then another thing that you can do with Play-Doh as well is, you know, simply some Play-Doh rolled, uh, little bowls of Play-Dohs and some toothpicks. So you have, I don't know, 
how many toothpicks maybe 12 in here and then divide them you can do little eyes for these and make turn them into little porcupines and have them you know give one uh, one spine I think you call this uh, for the porcupine how many uh, of them will have will each one have so you get the idea the concept is always the same is grouping is you know sh dividing into equal groups sharing the same amount so you know something like that um, like I said you can use this idea with multiplication as well just invert the equation um, so I hope that this was helpful um, if you have any other idea or suggestions, you can do so down in the comment section. I'm sure a lot of other parents will benefit from that as well. So I hope that this was helpful once again, and thank you for watching. Bye.